All right, so this one here says, I'm a 24-year-old young, well, young guy. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with a 21-year-old student, and we're six months in. I love her. I don't doubt the love I see or get in return. I'm a graduate without a full-time job or stable income. I'm independent from my parents, and at the moment, I make a living out of a small part-time electronic business. I have four younger siblings I try to support in any way possible as well. I support her as much as I can, but it's pretty clear she wants to give her father an early retirement and then transfer those full-time responsibilities to me. Do 10 things for her, and if you tell her to give you some days to get money to solve her 11th problem, she becomes brutally angry. It has happened more than seven times already. She gets so angry she won't talk to me the whole day or for days. She assumes I have a pack load of money, so if she asks... I have to give her instantly. I'm the type that loves the habit of saving, but in the last six months, not only have I not been able to save, I've squandered my savings too because her requests will not stop. Okay. Send her money to buy food stuff and she'll use majority of it to, say, to buy, say, a handbag. You expect the money to last about 10 days, but after two or three days, she'll be like all her things are done and she'll launch a pressure attack on you. I bought her two brand new Samsung smartphones in the last three months, but she's still not satisfied because it's not an iPhone. This is someone who was using a yam when I met her six months ago. To simply put it, I'm not progressing because I have to satisfy her demands. She won't bother asking her dad. And the worst part is, if you tell her to give you some few days to get that money, boom. Why should you even say later? I love her. I really want the best for her. But my age and status, I can't be taking on that full role of her working father. I can't bear this serious pressure. Advise me on what to do. I've talked to her several times, but she just won't listen. She's bought into the idea that if he proposes to you, then he becomes your father. I'm ready to do the needful regardless of how bitter it is. Help. <laughs> Sounds like he's adopted wow. <laughs> a child. I know. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like he's looking after a dependent. It doesn't sound like a relationship to me. Not a romantic relationship. It sounds like he's adopted someone. I mean, next thing he'll be paying her fees. Mm. and mm. If he isn't already. If yeah. he isn't already. <laughs> so mm. what, what's left of the relationship apart from her demanding for money? I'm, I'm confused. I mean, if this was your little brother, what would you have said to him? The work. I mean, <laughs> money doesn't grow on trees. If I won't take that from my brother, why should I take that from my partner? I don't, I don't know where to go from here, to mm. be honest, because it, mm. just, it doesn't sound like a good situation to me. Right. <sighs> okay, so first things first. I mean, the first thing I would have said is that I would have asked is whether he's communicating with her, because you know how big we are on communication. Mm. We talk about it all the time. But he says he's spoken to her several times, right. which means that the next step, honestly, for me is to bow out. You are not supposed to take the role of her father on. And let, let me start by speaking to all the young women in Ghana, across Africa, wherever you are. Your boyfriend is not supposed to take the responsibilities of your parents on. Mm. If he can, if he offers to, he sees that you're in a really hard place, then fair enough. But that shouldn't be his responsibility and you shouldn't give him the pressure. Right. Secondly, this is a 21-year-old student in school. And unfortunately, our age of social media, the way that our generations, you know, after us, <laughs> have become. You have to look as good as the next girl, as good as the next guy, buy the latest shoes. He says she's spending all the mm. money on handbags. You're not even spending it on textbooks and handouts in, in school. Imagine that. <laughs> You're spending it on handbags. Yeah. It's not necessary. And really, this is somebody who you cannot pull along with you. You have four siblings whom you're looking after. I imagine you're paying school fees, mm. you're buying, and, and even if you're doing free education, right? School uniforms, textbooks, provisions for school, some exam or some test pops up, you have to pay for that. So many things, transportation in and out. You can't afford to be spending money on somebody who doesn't even appreciate it. You, you said you do 10 things and then if you can't do the 11th or you tell her to wait, she's even got that you said she should wait. Mm. Then she's up in arms about it. You bought her two cell phones, <laughs> Samsung phones in the last three months. I mean, you can't do that. Nah, you can't do that. You can't do that. And honestly, yeah, I tell my friends who even take care of their family members, you know, I tell them that, look, if you have a family member who is living with you 
and or a family member who is dependent on you and the person is draining you to the point where you're not able to progress right you're eating into your savings like you're saying you're having to do at this point then really I don't know what you're doing in the relationship. Your relationship should help you grow. Right. You should grow together with your partner. Be mutually beneficial. There you go. Mm -hmm. And if that's not happening, I can't tell you what to do. None of my sisters can. Just you can't. But really, I would say if you want the advice, leave before it's too late. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Living. Hmm. <laughs> my question to the guy is, every time she's asking you for stuff, do you ever paint the actual picture for her to understand? Mm -hmm. Because this girl is sitting somewhere, every time she coughs, you're running. Mm. Every time <clears throat> she decides, oh, you, you can't breathe, you can't live. It's like, let me give her what she wants already. You see, when you start a relationship, you determine how you want the relationship to go. I'm going to take us a bit off course. Right. We were in church on Sunday. There was this woman who was sitting right in front of us. She had three boys. First, I, I, I was impressed because the boys were well behaved. There was one was, who, was, who looked about seven. There was one who looked about maybe three. And the other one was just born. He was about maybe a year, but he was a baby. And the woman has raised them up to be able to sit down in church when a sermon is taking place. Cut a long story short, the one before the baby wanted to sleep and the baby also wanted to sleep. So she had put the baby behind right. at her back okay. and the one before wanted the mom to carry her. And she couldn't do both because there was too much weight. So right. my husband immediately offered, picked the boy up and put the boy on, you know. Believe it or not, I had no idea that the woman actually came to church with her husband. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Only Thank you. <laughs> Only to find out that oh. the husband was actually on the next row in front. And they wanted to give an offering at the end of service. Right. So he came to get them. Wow. I was like... And the woman was doing uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding yeah. me? It's the 21st century. Three boys yeah. on your own. Mm. You should speak up. You see, and the thing is, she never spoke up from the beginning. Now they're married. They have kids. And she still can't speak up because that's the... She set it up yeah, like that set from day one. Mm -hmm. She set the trend like that from day one. Listen, when you're in a relationship, you determine what you want and what you don't want. If I pinch you and it hurts, you should be able to tell me, hey, Masa, you're pinching me, it hurts. I don't want you pinching me like that. Right. It's a give and take. Mm. I am also as human as you are. This girl needs to be empathetic of your situation. That's why I'm asking, what if picture are you painting deal. to this girl? Mm. Let her know. It's not a matter of, oh, I can't give it to you now. If you can't give it to you, she's expecting, okay, maybe you can't give it to me in a week, but you can't give it to me maybe in the next week and a half. Mm. But you can't give it to her. Does she know you have other responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Does she know you can't take up the responsibility of her father? Like, tell her the real deal. If she doesn't understand, then I'm sorry. You can't be in a relationship with somebody like that. I'm sorry, you have made her who she is. Right. Because if from day one you said to her, my dear, this is my vision. This is my goal. This is what I want. I'm saving up. I've got these responsibilities. I am happy. You're not my responsibility, but I love you. I will try as much as possible to make you happy, but I can't give you all the things you want all the time, always. Right. Do you understand? Let her understand, and then you can take it up from there. But like Apiako was saying, in, in, in most relationships, the guy has no business buying your panty, buying your call credit, buying buying everything for you like i mean i can understand yes back then men were supposed to take care of women and that was how it was but really it's the 21st century what are we talking about like women we need to start step up stepping mm. up there's nothing wrong in paying for your own food and paying mm. for your stuff at the end of the day it's not like you guys are even married and this man trust me sometimes i feel like love is overrated <laughs> That's the person is killing is. you. <laughs> yeah, it's killing you. You can't deal with it, but yeah, you love, love them, so you're with them. No, 
treat people as you want people, mm -hmm. as you expect to be treated in return. And if you're in a relationship and the person is not empathetic of you, yes. I'm sorry, call yeah. it quit. One this time. girl, in years to come, she, if you keep up with this, in years to come, you will be poor. Mm. You will she'll be, be poor. Building secretly. She will be building secretly. <laughs> and trust me, if you can't meet her demands, she will be so frustrated and she will be so upset. She'll get it from somewhere else. Mm. And where, where would you be? Right. While she's busy getting it from somewhere else, you don't know what she's going to do to get it from wherever. Mm. Two Samsung phones in less than three... But what, does, what did she do with the first one, let alone the second <laughs> one? Like, how many phones can you talk on at the same time? In a nutshell, tell her the tell her the real deal. Decide whether that's the kind of relationship you want. If she doesn't change, then you know, okay, she's in it because of the things you give to her, not because of who you are. Then at least you know. Right. But for now, they're much better or much, um, how should I put it, very important things to deal deal in or to, to work towards it. And I'm very disappointed that you actually, that you ruined your entire savings account mm. just because what in are you getting months. in return? Crazy. This girl, she's not adding value to your, to your life, to your relationship. I don't think that's a relationship you want to be, be mm. in. Trust me. Mm. I have the conversation and by all means move on. Well said. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yeah. Sorry, I just, I strongly, <laughs> no, 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 I absolutely love what you said, but I have to strongly disagree. I okay. think these are two consenting adults. Fair enough, you set the tone for your relationship in terms of certain things. I think when it comes to humor, um, dietary requirements, your likes, your preferences, but when it comes to expectation, what you're coming into a relationship with, I don't think it's up to your partner to say, oh, um, I don't think you should be asking for this. How can you go into a relationship expecting your man to pay your bills and to be giving you money and to be buying you phones? So I do agree with um, what you said about having empathy, going into a relationship, wanting your partner to treat you the way you want to be treated. But I think the girl is very wrong for going into a relationship expecting her partner to provide her with all of these things. Mm, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Right. I, I mean, I think you ladies have hit the nail right on the head. Um, she's treating him, in my opinion, as her cash cow, mm. you know, and mm. um, because he's always forthcoming, she will continue to ask. Yeah. And there are people like that who don't even know where to stop. Like, the minute you help them once, they feel like they can come back to you again mm, and wow. again and again until you reluctantly, yeah. you know, offer mm. that help. I must commend the guy, though. I mean, you're, you're a rock star. I mean, to be able to deal with all that kind of pressure and still have love in the back of your mind. Yeah, man. For me, it doesn't even come across as if this woman really loves you. Mm -hmm. I say this because, and I'm, I don't know about you ladies, mm -hmm. but when I really like someone, I don't even want them to spend on me. True. Yeah, exactly. I like that treating so them. Yeah, that's true. True. yeah, it's like you, you, you don't true. even like, oh, Treat you. you don't have to save your money. Yeah, we may need yeah, it later. Yeah. I don't see any of that happening here. As far as I'm concerned, she's got a fat cow and she's yeah. milking it. Milking. So my guy, you know, wise up, look sharp and, and find someone who deserves you. I don't think this relationship is for you. And especially if she's not willing to change her ways. You're not her father. OK, so good luck and we hope you take the right decision with this one. We'll move right along to our next message. It's Sister Sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. We're also live on DSTV channel 363 across Africa. Before I go for my next message, though, we'll go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Remember, it's every Friday night at 9 p.m. And well, if you want more exciting content, then please, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on that bell to receive notifications. One take. <laughs> Chala, I can't say it again. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates.